AICPA Coronavirus Reporting Financial Statement Reporting Considerations. Thought it might be useful to read through this. You will have a link to this if you want to look it over. This was issued March 18th, 2020. Uh, Center for Plain English Accounting, AICPA's National A&A Resource Center. So this is consequences of the COVID-19 financial reporting considerations. So financial reporting considerations related to, in essence, the coronavirus. The, the coronavirus COVID-19 is above all a global human tragedy. The spread of the, of the pandemic also is having serious economic impacts. Numerous sectors of the economy are suffering uh, damage and the long-term economic and business consequences remain unknown. Among the many consequences of the COVID-19, entities may face financial reporting implications and challenges. Impacts such as business and production disruptions, supply chain interruptions, uh, negative impacts on customers, volatility in the equity and debt markets, reduced uh, revenue and cash flows, and other economic consequences may occur. This special report provides uh, succinct reminders to practitioners about some financial reporting matters that may need to be considered in light of the, pande the pandemic. Uh, subsequent events. So the first item we got subsequent events. Entities may need to evaluate whether the, the consequences of the COVID-19 represents subsequent events. Uh, FASB, uh, FASB Accounting Standards uh, Co-Definition, FASB ASC 855. So 855 subsequent events. Define subsequent events as events or transactions that occur after the balance sheet date, but before financial statements are issued or are available uh, to be issued. There are two types of subsequent, subsequent events. Uh, then we have the bullet point here. The first type consists of events or transactions that provide additional evidence and conditions that exist at the date of the balance sheet, including uh, the scrolling down, estimated inherent uh, in the process of preparing financial statements that is recognized subsequent events. The second type consists of events that provide evidence about conditions that did not exist at the date of the balance sheet, but arose subsequent to the date that is a non-recognized subsequent event. Recognized and non-recognized subsequent events as defined in FASB ASC 855 corresponds to the two types of subsequent events described in the U.S. Generally Accepted Accounting Standards, U.S. GAS, G-A-A-S, found in the AU-C 560 subsequent events and subsequently uh, discovered facts. These two types of subsequent events are events that provide evidence of conditions that existed at the date of the financial statements historically uh, referred to as type 1 subsequent events and events that provide evidence of conditions that arose after the date of financial statements historically referred to as type 2 subsequent events practice note for calendar year end 2019 financial statements, any uh, COVID-19 related subsequent event identified likely uh, are to be non-recognized subsequent events or type 2. Uh, some non-recognized -recon subsequent events may be of such a nature that financial statements disclosure is required to keep the statements from being misleading. In this situation, financial statements need to include disclosures of the following. The nature of the events and or the event and or events, one more time, the nature of event or events, an estimate of the financial statement effect of the event or events, or a statement that the estimate cannot be made. Occasionally, such an event may be uh, so significant that the disclosure can best be made by supplementing the historical financial statement with a pro forma financial data giving effect to the event as if it had occurred on the date of the balance sheet. It may be desirable to present pro forma statements, usually a balance sheet only in uh, columnar form uh, on the face of the historical statements. Subsequent, subsequent events, market value declines. Given the recent stock market vol vol validity, we wanted to, re to remind practitioners of the guidance in AICPA technical question and answer, that's the uh, TQA 
9070.06. Decline in market value of assets subsequent to the balance sheet date. Inquiry. In light of overall market decline, should the decline in market value of an asset subsequent to the balance sheet date result in the adjustment of the financial statements? Reply. FASB ASC uh, 855-10-25-1 states that a or an entity shall recognize in the financial statements the effects of all subsequent events that provide additional evidence about conditions that existed at the date of the balance sheet, including the estimates inherent in the process of preparing, preparing financial statements. Uh, FASB ASC 855-10-25-3 states, that an or a entity shall not recognize subsequent events that provide evidence about conditions that did not exist at the date of the balance sheet but arose after the balance sheet date but before financial statements are issued or are available to be issued. FASB ASC 855-10-55-2 provides a list of examples of non-recognized subsequent events including uh, changes in the fair value of assets or liabilities, financial or non-financial, after the balance sheet date but before financial statements are issued or are available to be issued. Practitioners should also be aware that the amendments in ASU 2016-01 Financial Instruments Overall uh, Subtopic 825-10 Recognition of Measurement of Financial Assets and Financial Liabilities Require uh, uh, Equity Investments Except those accounted for under the equity method of accounting Or those that result in uh, consolidation of the investee To be measured at fair value With changes in fair value recognized in net income thereby eliminating the presentation of changes in the fair value of an equity investment in other comprehensive income in our experience most entities do not choose to make financial statement disclosures that are generally business risks or are broad broadly impacted to the majority of entities such as volatility in the stock market for example most non-public entities do not make financial statement disclosures regarding potential changes in value of recognized assets and liabilities due to future potential risks related to climate change the outcome of elections or changes in government policy we also looked through the each 10k file between march 9th and 16th 2020 and noted none of them specifically mentioned the most recent decline in the stock market in their md and a instead they all included uh bio leapt language about risks of declines in market value of investments as a result, while it is ultimately up to your individual clients if they want to include something in the financial statement disclosure specific to recent stock market validity, our position is that such a disclosure should generally not be necessary in general disclosure related to market risks are already included in the notes to the financial statements. Subsequent event, uh, COVID-19. In reviewing the 10Ks filed, filed in the middle of March 2020, we noted that more entities not only uh, discussing the impact of COVID-19 within the MD and A uh, portions of their filing, but also making disclosures within the financial statements themselves, such as the following examples. Actual subsequent event disclosure, Chico's March uh, 2020, 10k in recent days the covid 19 outbreak in the united states has resulted in reduced customer traffic and the temporary reduction in operating hours for our stores as well as temporary store closures were uh, government mandated these recent developments are uh, expected to result in lower sales and gross margin than provided in our previous uh, outlook and then another actual subsequent event disclosure bank corp march 2020 10k the company evaluated its December 30th, 31st, 2019 consider, uh, consolidated financial statements for subsequent events through the date the consolidated financial statements were issued as a result of the spread of the COVID-19 coronavirus economic uh, uncertainties have arisen, which are likely to negatively impact net in, uh, interest income. Other financial impacts could occur through such potential impact is unknown at this time. 
Actual subsequent disclosure, New Age Beverage Corporation, March 2020, 10K. In December 2019, a novel strain of, corona, of coronavirus was reported to have uh, surfaced in China. The spread of this virus began to cause some business disruption through uh, the reduced net revenue in the company Asia's Pacific market in January and February 2020. While the disruption is currently expected to be temporary, there is a considerable uncertainty around the duration. Therefore, while the company expects these matters to negatively impact its operating results, however, the related financial impact and duration cannot reasonably estimate it at this time. There are two more examples. I'm going to be skipping over them and moving on down to accounting estimates. Uh, the assumptions and data supporting certain accounting estimates may be affected by the consequences of the COVID-19. Practitioners should evaluate whether judgments and decisions made by management in making accounting estimates remain reasonable in light of any economic and business developments. So AU-C 540 auditing uh, accounting estimates, including fair value accounting estimates and related disclosures, addresses auditor responsibilities related to accounting estimates and disclosures in the financial statement audits. Asset impairment. The consequences of COVID-19 may cause asset impairment for some entities. Impairment models under U.S. Generally Accepted Accounting Principles, U.S. GAAP, GAAP, vary depending on the asset subject and the impairment test. Impairment models considered of uh, consideration of future events also vary significantly under current U.S. GAAP. This can even be the case for the same asset for example, a financial asset using the incurred loss model for impairment versus a financial asset using the current expected credit losses model. Asset impairment consideration and the related professional guidance for reference may include financing receivables, FASB accounting standard uh, code decisions, FASB 310, FASB ASC 326 financial uh, instruments, in inventories, FASB ASC 330 for inventory, contract assets, FASB ASC 310, equity securities, FASB ASC 320 investments, debt and equity securities or FASB ASC 321 investments, equity securities, if ASU 2016-01 financial instru instruments overall, uh, subtopic 825-10, recognition of measurement of financial assets and financial liabilities has been adopted. Debt securities, that's going to be FASB ASC 320 or FASB ASC 326. If ASU 2016-13 financial instruments, credit losses. Other uh, investments, FASB ASC 325, investments, other property, plant, and equipment, FASB ASC 360. Uh, intangibles, FASB ASC 350, and deferred tax assets, FASB ASC 740. Loss contingencies, FASB ASC 450 20. Loss contingencies may need to be considered due to the effects of the COVID 19 after the date of an entity's financial statements, but before those financial statements are issued or are available to be issued, as discussed in FASB ASC 855-10-25, information may become available indicating that an asset was impaired or a liability was incurred after the date the financial statements uh, or, or that there is at least a reasonable possibility that an asset was impaired uh, or a liability was incurred after that date. If the underlying casual event did not occur before the balance sheet date, a, an accrual should not be made. However, disclosures may be required as indicated in FASB ASC 450-20-50-9. Such disclosures should include the nature of the contingency and an estimate of the possible loss or range of loss or a statement that such an estimate cannot be made. Practice note. 
this determinations are frequently uh, defective, uh, difficult to make and require an information and informed judgment by management based on the best information available before uh, issuance of the financial statements. Nevertheless, entities will need to evaluate whether it is reasonably possible that a contingent loss has resulted from the consequences of COVID-19 and make any necessary disclosures. Going concern. The ability of an entity to continue as a going concern is affected by many factors to include the industry and geographic area in which the entity operates, the financial health of the customers and suppliers of the entity, and the accessibility to financing that is available for the entity. The consequences of COVID-19 may impact those factors and may cause a deterioration in an entity's operating results and financial position. As such, entities and practitioners may need to, to consider recent uh, per pertinent information related to their assessments of going concern. And auditor's responsibilities related to going concern are included in AU-C570, the auditor's uh, consul uh, consideration of entities' ability to continue as a going concern for re revenue engagements. The accountant's responsibility related to going concern are included in AR-C90, review engagements, accounts perform, uh, accountants performing implications can refer to paragraph A20 of AR-C80, uh, comp compilation engagements for considerations about going concern issues, U.S. generally accepted accounting principles guidelines is uh, contained in FASB ASC 205-40 disclosure of uncertainties about an entity's ability to continue as a going concern also see the following cpea uh, reports related to going concern you have the sas number 132 auditing guidance related to going concern ssars number 24 new going concern responsibilities in reviews and other changes going concern uh, co-defined into U.S. Generally Accepted Accounting Principles Gap, New Challenges for a Delicate Process. Practice Note, under AU-C570 and in AR-C90, the period of time that an auditor needs to consider related, related to going concerned uh, assessment is the period of time required by the applicable financial reporting framework or if no such requirement exists within one year after the date the financial statements are issued or within one year after the date the financial statements are available to be issued uh, when applicable. The look forward period in U.S. Generally Accepted Accounting Principles matches the look forward period under AU-C570 and AR-C90, one year from the financial statement issuance date or at the date that the financial statements are available to be issued when applicable. Uh, CPEA observation. The look forward period is one year from the date the financial statements are issued with the circumstances changing hourly uh, due to COVID-19 with uh, severe impacts in some industries, uh, restaurants, entertainment, airlines, etc., making the required projections to determine subsequent doubt about the ability to continue as a going concern under U.S. generally accepted accounting principles in some cases could be extremely difficult. It may be advisable to delay statement issuance, if possible, in these cases until projections can be made. Actual going concern disclosures, uh, uh, Cineworld, International Movie Chain, March 20th uh, Annual Report. The group continues to adopt the going concern basis in preparing its uh, consolidated financial statements. The uncertainty as to the future impact of the group of the recent COVID-19 outbreak has been considered as part of the group's adoption of the going concern basis. Thus far, we have not observed any material impact on our movie theater admissions due to COVID-19 following uh, an increase in the admissions in the first two months of the year uh, against the same period in the previous year, we continued to see good levels of admissions in all our territories despite the reported spread of COVID-19, although the release of the new Bond movie uh, has been postponed 
to November 2020, largely due to the closure of the cinemas in the Asian markets. The studios have advised us that in the countries in which we operate, we currently remained uh, committed to their release schedules for the coming months and remainder of the year. In the downside scenar scenario analysis performed, the board has considered the potential impact of the COVID-19 outbreak on the group's results. In preparing this analysis, the following key assumptions were issued. The impact of the total loss of revenue across the enlarged uh, estate for between one and three months. No fixed cost reductions uh, should, uh, should sites be closed. Run rate combination benefits of uh, 133 mil. Uh, expected to be achieved as part of the Synplex uh, acquisition forecast capital expenditure reduced in 2020 by 90% and uh, of dividends payments from uh, July 1st, 2020. So this analysis does not account for the fact that in the case of widespread site closure, the film scheduled to be released during this period of closure could not uh, could, could could be moved later in 2020. These downside scenarios are currently con considered unlikely. However, it is difficult to predict the overall outcome and impact of COVID-19 at this stage. Under the specific downside scenario, however, of the group losing the, the equivalent of between two and three months total revenue across the entire uh, estate, there is a risk of reaching the group's financial. Uh, covenants un unless a waiver agreement is reached with the required majority of, of leaders within the going concern period. Only the specific downside scenario detailed above would indicate the existence of a material uncertainty which may cast significant doubt about the group's ability to continue as a going concern. The consolidated financial statements do not include the adjustments that would result if the group was unable to continue as going concern. Leases a leasor and leasee may decide to modify the terms of a lease agreement as a result of the consequences of COVID-19. In this situation, entities should consider the guidance of FASB ASC 840 leases, specifically 840-10-35-4, which requires leases and leasors, leasees and leasors, to analyze lease modifications other than lease renewals and extensions to determine whether substi uh, substitution of the modified provisions for the original lease provisions at the inception of the lease would have resulted in a difficult lease classification of the, the inception of the lease. In cases where the new lease standard FASB ASC 842 leases has been adopted, when a lease modification occurs, the lease has to determine whether the lease modification will be accounted for as a separate contract or as a change to the existing contract. See the guidance in paragraphs 8-18 of FASB ASC 842-10-25. Variable considerations under FASB ASC 606 revenue from the contracts with customers. Under FASB ASC 606 IE, the new revenue standard, a uh, variable consideration should be estimated and recognized through the life of the contract subject to an overall constraint. The overall constraint requires the estimates of variable consideration only should be included in the amount considered for revenue recognition to the extent it is probable that a significant reversal in the amounts of cumulative revenue recognition will not occur when the uncertainty is resolved. At the end of each uh, reporting period, an entity should update the estimate translation price, including updating its uh, assessment of whether an estimate of variable consideration is constrained to represent faith, uh, faithfully the circumstances present at the end of the reporting period and the changes in circumstances during the reporting period. Entities may need to factor in the consequences of COVID-19 under their update of variable consideration based on uh, conditions at the operating date. Risks and Uncertainties Disclosures FASB ASC 275 Risks and Uncertainties requires disclosures that uh, focus primarily on risks and uncertainties that could significantly in affect the amounts reported in the financial statements in the near term or the near term functioning of the reporting entity. 
the risk and uncertainty addressed uh, can be can stem from the nature of the, of entities operations, the use of si significant estimates uh, and current vulnerabilities due to certain circumstances. The effect of COVID-19 may negatively impact significant estimates and uh, exacerbate a vulnerability due to certain circumstances, e.g. business concentration in a market uh, severely affected by the effects of COVID-19. Hedging relationships. The, cons uh, the consequences of COVID-19 may affect the probability of a hedge forecasted transaction and the amounts involved. In those cases, the guidance in FASB ASC 815, derivatives and hedging, should be applied to determine the continued appropriateness of hedge accounting. Financial statement prepared under a special purpose framework, SPF, the guidance and disclosures discussed above in this report apply to U.S. GAAP, generally accepted accounting principles, financial statements. Practitioners are reminded that financial statements prepared in accordance with a SPF, e.g. tax basis, cash basis, should include information disclosures similar to those required by U.S. generally accepted accounting principles when the financial statements contain items that are the same as or similar to those in the financial statements prepared in accordance with U.S. GAAP. Disclosure of SPF financial statements may uh, substitute uh, qualitative information for some of the quantitative information required by U.S. GAAP or may provide information that communicates the substance of those requirements. Auditor and accountant reporting, emphasis of matter. An auditor may include that an event has such a material impact on the entity that it would be appropriate to include an emphasis of the matter, an EOM paragraph in the auditor's report uh, directing the reader's attention to the event and its effects. As a paragraph 0.06 of of AUC section 706A emphasize emphasis of matter paragraphs and other matter paragraphs in the independent auditor's reports. Notes emphasis of matter paragraphs are included in the auditor's reports if the auditor considers it necessary to draw users' attention to the matter ap um, appropriately presented or disclosed in the financial statements that, in the auditor's professional judgment, is of such important tense that it is fundamental to the user's understanding of the financial statements. Paragraph A2 of AU-C706 indicates that a major catastroph catastrophe that has had or continues to have a significant effect on the entity's financial position is an example of circumstances in uh, circumstances when the auditor may consider it necessary to include an EOM paragraph. AR-C 9089 and AR-C 90A4142 provide similar guidance related to emphasizing a matter in a review engagement. For compliance uh, for compilation engagements, AR-C 80 does not preclude an accountant from including an EOM paragraph in the accountant's compilation report. Conclusion. Uh, the discussion of accounting and reporting issues above is not intended to be all-inclusive. Rather, the report is intended to be uh, indicative of the types of issues that may need to be addressed in preparing financial statements and considering the consequences of COVID-19 on financial reporting. Other financial reporting issues also may be uh, encountered. As always, the CPEA Technical Inquiry Service is available to answer your uh, inquiries on this topic as well as most other accounting and assurance topics. The Inquiry Service can be uh, assessed on uh, our website. Stay safe.